Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about dressing sharp for a bachelor party. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, I'm going to link you to my free 47-page ebook. You've heard me say it before. It's awesome. Do you have it? Make sure to go grab it. <laughs> okay, this is the question that came in all the way from India. And I've got a gentleman, he's saying, I'm a 27-year-old doctor from Delhi, and I've been recently invited to a friend of mine's bachelor party. It's a semi-formal occasion where some of my friends will be wearing a blazer and a few will be in suits. Well, I'm planning to wear a black velvet jacket that's going to have two buttons from Mark Spencer. My questions are, should I wear it with a pair of dark denim or gray trousers? And do I need to wear a tie with it? Can I wear a scarf with it? because it's going to be an outdoor event and it may be a bit cold. He's also got some information. He's five foot nine. He's got a medium build with dark black hair and olive skin. So, the gentleman's got a, uh, a good question. It sounds like he's wanting to dress up and there's, he ended that question with saying, you know, should I just wear a suit? And so, I'm going to lay out three criteria because I'm not in his shoes. I don't know this. But I would look at these three things if it was me and I was invited to a bachelor party that sounds, you know, I know when I put bachelor party probably in the title, a lot of people are thinking, you know, hey, throw on a t-shirt and, you know, drink, you know, in the United States, they get a little crazy sometimes. If you've ever watched, uh, let's just say, go watch The Hangover. And <laughs> very, very interesting movie. But in any case, guys, I'm not talking about that kind of dress. Although, if you look at The Hangover, uh, the guy that had the most amount of game, how did he dress? The, the one that's hanging out with, I think, Jennifer Lopez now. So, that's all I'm going to say about, you know, dressing and uh, what we think of people. But getting back to this question, he wants to, it sounds like, really kind of push the envelope when it compares to everyone he's going out with. He's going to be around people with traditional blazers, with suits, and he's wanting to wear a velvet blazer uh, that overall sounds pretty good except for the fact that it is velvet, which is a little bit more fashion forward. So, these three things are what you need to pay attention to, sir. Number one, find out how the groom is going to be dressing and what he, how well do you know him. At the end of the day, this is his night. This is about him, him having a great time. You're there to support him. And so, you don't want to be showing up and, you know, people to be thinking all night like, who is this? You know, if you don't know him very well, you don't want people to be thinking like, who is this guy? And, you know, who does he think he is? Like the, you know, the fashion guru and, and to have, not, not that, you know, men were supposedly known for not talking behind each other's backs, but we do it. And we make quick judgments. And if you're meeting a lot of these people for the first time, is the impression you want to be putting out there the one that you're going to send with the current clothing selection that you have? Not that it's bad. Not you, you just need to be aware of you know how well do you know these people? How well do you know the gentleman that you're going to be going to this? I assume that you know since you were invited to this party that you know him pretty well. And so that takes me to the second part: is pay attention to what everyone else is going to be wearing and the environment. So I mean, not only the physical environment. So where you guys are going, it sounds like you know. Most people there are going to be wearing suits or wearing blazers, but overall, what is the feel? Because based off the fact that there are going to be people, be people there in suits, I'm going to say no to the denim and wear a dark pair of odd trousers. If it's going to be cool, gray flannel trousers, especially in charcoal or medium gray, are going to look really good versus denim, which here in the United States, you could probably get away with it. But India, I, I've just felt that overall, my experience there is that people do make a lot of judgments based off of how somebody looks. Um, you know, you'll have a high-rise building right here and then you'll have slums right there. And I, you know, having spent a little bit of time in Delhi, it, it is something that you don't, not that the denim is going to make you look, you know, like you're coming out of the slums here, but it is something that I think you need to respect what everyone else is pulling off. and not wear the denim because it is a very casual look. So, elevate that a bit, pay attention to your environment and look also to uh, the other people. They're going to be, if people are going to be wearing blazers, then I would say that a dark velvet blazer is going to be perfectly fine, assuming that it doesn't have any outlandish uh, colors in it or, you know, any accents or anything like that. So, we've paid attention to the groom, we've paid attention to the environment and last, you know, which for many people unfortunately comes first is who are you and what do you feel comfortable wearing? So, if you feel comfortable wearing this type of clothing, 
than to wear it. Because if you're comfortable wearing the clothing, then a lot of these other things are going to fall to the wayside. I mean, people, they're going to make a quick judgment based off of what they see, but then they're also going to, you know, immediately move on to more important things, which is having a great time. And if you're comfortable in this type of clothing and you feel that, you know, even a scarf around with, with that velvet blazer, you know, you feel great like that because it's what you normally wear, then go for it. And people are going to maybe, you know, they maybe know you as that's what you wear, you know, but if you normally don't wear clothing like this and you're putting it on for the first time, then really what you're wearing is a costume, not clothing that you're going to be comfortable in. So you need to, you know, beforehand wear this outfit, be comfortable in that outfit, and then you own that outfit and you can wear it with confidence and go out there and have a great time. If you're not confident in that clothing, then again, you're wearing a costume and it's not going to be, you're going to be thinking about things that you shouldn't be thinking about because at the end of the night, you're there to celebrate the union of your good friend with another family and go there and, you know, have a great time because that's what you want to do on these nights. We've got, you know, all of us only have so many nights left and uh, make sure that this night is an enjoyable one, not one in which you're worried about, did I wear the right shoes? Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.